The flu season off to a deadly start in Alabama with at least three people losing their lives so far. And one of those victims, a child. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough spoke to an area pediatrician who says he's inundated with flu patients. We are overwhelmed. Dr. Paley Son is a pediatrician at Children's of Alabama in Birmingham. He says the phones are ringing off the hook and physicians are booked solid with appointments. A lot of people that typically get their flu vaccine in, in late October, early November, you know, all of a sudden we're faced with, with a kid kid or the parent not being vaccinated for, for the peak of flu season. Dr. Song says the emergency department here at Children's of Alabama is so busy right now that wait times are as long as five to seven hours. And he says there are a number of symptoms associated with pediatric flu. Fever, body aches, cough, runny nose, sore throat. Some have had vomiting, diarrhea. Doctors say parents should also be on the lookout for difficulty breathing. The Alabama Department of Public Health reports two adults and one child in the state have lost their battles with the flu so far this season. Pediatricians say it's not out of the question for children to die from the flu. A lot of times they are normal, healthy children. Physicians say it's more important than ever to avoid others if you're not feeling yourself. We have some people that may be going to work and they may not be feeling well. We may have kids that have the sniffles, but they don't have COVID and they don't have flu um, potentially. And so they're still going and we're kind of transmitting that illness from one person to the next. Pediatricians say if your kids haven't gotten a flu shot yet, it's not too late. What we typically see is, is we'll see one surge before Christmas and then we'll see another one after Christmas. Dr. Song says while masks are not popular, they can be helpful in preventing the spread of flu. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13. And take a look at this, just how overwhelmed the state is right now. This is week three of the entire state being labeled dark blue on the flu map, indicating a statewide outbreak. And comparing this year to the last two flu seasons, right now we are at 11.5% positivity rate. The highest mark we hit last year was under 6%, so we are double those levels and we're three times higher than any level seen in 2020.